Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and back here we have a 99 Jeep Cherokee. The issue that we have with this vehicle, it will stall out just once in a while. Customer took it to another shop, changed out a bunch of parts. Today we're going to use a Pico Scope, and I'm going to show you how to figure this out. Alright, so right now we're checking out the code. Uh, we got P1391, loss of cam, cam crank, and we have ignition cold to primary circuit. So the issue that we've been having with this vehicle is that the customer will just drive. When he first turns it on, everything's working great. Uh, but then after a little while of having it on for, for a bit, it'll start acting up. He took it to a couple shops, uh, one changed out the cam sensor, another one changed out the crank sensor, and now this other shop wants to change out the fuel pump. So I cleared the codes, left the car on for a good 30-40 minutes, and it started acting up again. And I do have my fuel pressure gauge right out there, but that hasn't dropped. But now I've been having the car on for about good 40 minutes and it is really jumping right now. It's acting up. Luckily I got the Pico scope up there and I have it hooked up to the cam and crank and let's see what we can find out. I think we uh, found the issue and uh, even if someone changes out a part doesn't mean that the part can be defective or, uh, or they just put it in wrong. So let's go look at it. All right, I don't know if you can hear this engine, but it is literally about to shut off. Let's see, let me get around here. Hear that? It is just stumbling right now. So right now I have my lap scope hooked on. The blue trace is going to be our cam signal, and the red trace is going to be our crank signal. So on this Jeep right here. What we're gonna have, we're gonna it's gonna be four space four space. Is reading off the flywheel. So, and I, <laughs> I paused it in the wrong place. I, I shouldn't have paused it right there. But as you can see, this is what we shouldn't be seeing right here. That nor that. And I'm just kind of hashy right now, but. Like say this is what we're supposed to see. Four, 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 and four. And um, essentially, when we uh, first uh, first turned it on, it was looking great. I'm actually gonna put a picture right now on the flywheel so we can show you the representations and the correlations to this. All right. So I'll put that up right now. So you can see on the flywheel how it has those notches right there and that's basically where we're getting our drops right here. So the issue that we're having with this, as you can see we got four, four, and then right here goes the three. And look at this one. And then look at that one right here. It basically has a big old one and then one. So, you know, it's, it's kind of good to, you know, pull out your lab scopes and test this out. A lot of mechanics don't like pulling out their lab scope because it takes too long or, uh, or it's just too complicated for them. But, man, trust me, uh, there's a lot of technicians out there on YouTube that show you good, uh, good information. Uh, Wells shows uh, good information on there. Uh, Scanner Danner, Keith different people out there man even Ivan they're just uh, amazing uh, videos so check them out man uh, like I said right here it was just a quick little test uh, <laughs> last shop was gonna put a fuel pump but right now what we're having an issue is is the inputs on the on the crank right there so we're gonna we're gonna basically take off take off the crank um, 
there's a good chance that the last shop didn't put it on there right uh, and uh, once we put a brand new one on there or just do this one we're gonna be a-okay so what I'm gonna do once I change out the crank uh, if there's any markings on it I will show you on the video and uh, we're gonna do an, another test after this is done and you can see the difference right now the laptop is shaking because of all, all the misfires but I'm gonna let this settle for a little bit and we're gonna get back to it so like I said right now we're just looking at this is the crank and this is the cam so I'll put it back in a second all right so we got a brand new crank sensor and I did go to the dealership so this is a Mopar sensor right here we're about to uh, put this one on and the only difference I can see from the aftermarket one and the Mopar so this is the Mopar one this is the aftermarket one that the other shop put in is just uh, is longer in length so we're just gonna put this uh, one on there we're gonna give it a little test and we're gonna verify that you know everything's a-okay hopefully we don't have this issue anymore and uh, and when it comes down to crank sensors and cam sensors, you know, I like trying to get the original one. So we're going to put this on and we're going to test it out. All right, so this is our waveform right here. And uh, right now, remember back then we had the cam and then the crank. Right now what I'm just doing, I have a single channel. We're just looking at the crank because that's the issue that we had. That's where we're having the problems. So this is our crank signal right here and i did put a filter so it can look nice and right now what we're looking for remember we're looking for four four space four space four space and like i was saying right now we've been having this vehicle on for almost an hour hour and ten minutes and it hasn't missed at all it hasn't shut off and like i said sometimes sometimes even brand new parts you know they kind of act up so there you go this is our uh, video with the Pico scope I know it wasn't too uh, too crazy or nothing like that it was just a simple hooking it up to, uh, to our sensors and just to let you know this is a Hall effect sensor so there's three wires and the wire that we're hooking up to is going to be a signal wire so you have your five volts ground and your signal wire and this is what we're looking at right here it's going to be the signal wire i have i have other videos where it shows that so if you have a chance please check out those videos this is just a video showing the pico scope i hope y'all like this video and don't forget please thumbs up subscribe and share and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming up from awesome mechanics take care and goodbye